Everybody just so want first to of all, what you guys need to do is you need to go outside and you need to ask each person if they can be recorded. James Madison audits. I ain't going in there. Y'all are going to jail. You have the right, but yeah. we have to we have to basically protect our so privacy. Wait, you said right, we I'm have sorry. the right. First thing you said. Okay, so please let them know that. I'll try to give the right. Let them know that we have okay, the right. So unfortunately we're gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, you can ask me all day. Okay. Observe and report your security. What are you guys are you that side job? We're, we're doing our job. Well, Just let us do our job. You do your job. Thing, man. You don't belong in here, dude. Sir, your job is to observe well, and report. Know what my job is, man. Okay, well, don't tell me how to do my job. I won't tell you how to do yours, okay? Shoo, 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 shoo. Kick rocks. Don't come at me aggressive. Think you're going to intimidate me, Mr. Smith. Uh, they don't want your business here, so that's their This is a public problem. building. No, it's not really a private building. This got, is a private you building. Got no business. You're not conducting business Sir, sir, you might need to call a supervisor. You're sadly mistaken. guys i'm gonna do a little bit of this intro here in the car because it's hot as fuck out there but we are out here at the texas health and human services texas department of family and protective services i'm out here with good citizen news rogue nation james madison audits i ain't going in there y'all are going to jail <laughs> and uh, auditing erie county <laughs> So, let's see how this goes. Let's see if they respect our rights. Y'all heard what James Madison thinks is gonna happen. So, stand by, let's see how it goes. No, we're not here for you. We're here to educate these public employees. We're here for the people, brother. We've been told these people don't treat the people so well, so we're here to make sure that they do their job today. I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you, though. There we go. Just observe and report, brother. Walk away. Observe and report your security. Are you that side job? We're, we're doing our job. Well, Just let us do our job. You do your job. Sir, your job is to observe and report. Okay, well, don't tell me how to do my job. I won't tell you how to do yours, okay? Shoo, 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 shoo. Kick rocks. Don't come at me aggressive. Think you're going to intimidate me, Mr. Smith. Punk ass motherfucker. The reason we're here is because they treat people like crap. So we're here to document that.
Why does everybody go straight to that recording kids? Yeah, yeah, yes, they are recording kids. kids they have. On the ceiling. Yeah, look at those creeps. They have all these cameras on the ceiling recording your kids. What you see? Independent journalists. Independent. Okay, so for me, I refuse to be on camera or film or pictured or anything else. I can't speak for anybody else. Yeah, and if I was commercial, well, then you would have the, you know? Uh, from you guys. Oh, but they can film you. Well, they have to. They're doing their job. I know they're from the state. Y'all are freelancers. Okay, well, let me explain this. This is a public building. Okay, so these, they're from the state. Ma'am, okay. let me explain something real quick and let yes, me sir. maybe help you, you know, yes, chill out a little bit. This is a public building, so I can do public information requests for all these videos, and I can watch you do. I'm saying, I'm saying, there's no nefarious. We have no nefarious, no ill will, no ill intent. We're here to make sure the government's doing their job. That's it. It has nothing to do with the people. It's like imagine like when you watch a movie. When you watch a movie, when. Of course not. But that's why I said we ought to do your jobs. Please do it well. Yeah, in a movie, like you don't remember all the extras in the background, right? You only remember the person that makes face. And so now you've become someone that people will remember. But if you never said nothing to people, people will never remember you. You see what I'm saying? So don't bring attention to yourself if you don't want to be on the camera. Is all I'm saying. I understand. You should be. You should be happy with them. I hope you don't think that we're here for anything bad, though. We're we're here for the people. Yeah, but these people treat people like crap, so we're here to make sure they do their job right. Like, controversial speech isn't meant to cover what everybody likes. It's meant to cover what's controversial. You're not even asking us if you're allowed to record your kids. So first of all, what you guys need to do is we need to go outside, you need to ask each person if they can be recorded. Did they ask permission each person? I'm sorry, sir, but we're here for a purpose. You know why? You know why? Because this is a public place, like the park. You know? Yes, I don't, want to to I don't ask permission you for rights. You, you know? Well, then you need That's it. And I don't know what's the deal with the camera. To record. But what's the deal with any camera? We were at peace right now. Look yeah. at what you just created. Exactly. You don't even know just me and you were rude to me. Just don't record my kids. You just made yourself just a story. Just remember that. Just don't record my kids. Okay, don't bring attention to yourself sir, and your kids. Okay? You're bringing attention to your own self because you want to, sir. Gosh. I don't know what's the deal with Karen, you. Karen. Go ahead. Calm sir. down, Karen. You know what? We're going to call the cops on you. Call them. Because look at what you're just creating. You are. You're not even asking us if you can guys record our children. How's it going? Uh, how, how can we help you? Uh, we're just here to get a little public information, what okay. y'all have to offer, what kind of services are provided in this building. Okay. Um, I see that there's some obviously some patrons that you have here that are uneducated on our First Amendment right to gather content for a story and disseminate to the public. So I would hope that you could de-escalate these people, let them know that we have the right to... You have the right, but yeah. we have to we have to basically protect our privacy. So wait, you said our, we our have the right. First thing you said. Okay, so please let them know that. Outside, you have the right. Let them know that we have okay, the right. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, you can ask me all day. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, sir, what they need to do is you need to respect us. I am respecting everybody by standing for our rights. We just went through this at the juvenile detention center and the juvenile probation office. Like they think that we walked through here with thousands of dollars of cameras in our first radio, our first radio. Sir, do you honestly think that we got together all these thousands of dollars of cameras just to walk into a building unknowingly? You think this is our first visit? Yeah, he wants to throw hands on. He's got a gun. He wants to shoot somebody. Wait for these officers to uh, respond so they can hopefully educate you, Smith. Is that your actual name? Do you have a, your actual name? Is your name Smith? Loser. With Smith Protective Services, likes to call people loser. So you understand your boss is going to watch this? Your boss is going to watch this. You ever heard of undercover boss? Come mess with somebody else, right? Recording anything we can see in public. We got people inside as well. We are welcome. We're, do, we're gathering content we're for a story. Here. Oh, well. They don't want your business here, so that's their. This is a public problem. building. No, it's not really a private building. They this got, is a private building. No business, 
You're not conducting business sir, here. Sir, you. sir, you might need to call a supervisor. You're sadly mistaken. Call, yeah, he, he call a supervisor that, now, right? sir. Call your supervisor now. You're sadly mistaken. There's no privacy in public. Yep, all of only public areas. Sir, I would recommend you call a supervisor before you make a huge mistake and cost your city a lot of money, okay? I'll be right with you, okay? Just stop outside. You got your body camera rolling? I'm just hoping you de-escalate this. Good. De-escalate this. Let us get through here with our, our pictures undisturbed, and we'll be out of here. If you try to violate our rights, then it's going to last longer. I'm going to give them their chance to do what's right, and we'll see what happens. This guy has no name tag. Does it, yeah. What does it say on his uh, thing? It just says Smith. We'll find out his name. Yeah. Yeah, Cliff, thank you so much, bud. I do appreciate it. It's hot out here. Yeah, right? Let me see. Oh, she's the one you call him. Okay. Big guys, Cliff. Independent journalist. Independent journalist? Okay, I'll well, get right. a supervisor for you over here. Well, thank you. Very active person. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here um, so we, until we can de escalate. I'm not trying to trespass or nothing, but it's hot out there, brother. So I'm going to hang out until we can get this taken care of. Yeah, I'm going to give this cat. What are you guys trying to record? He said that this is private. What are you, what are you guys trying to record? We don't answer questions. Here we're, you go. There you go, sir. Here, you just look that over for us. Yes. Please. Give it back to me, though, when you're done. That has every law that we're exercising, every court case law, federal case law, and everything that we're exercising here, and we hope you do what's right. All the highlighted stuff. I, yeah, I highlighted everything for you to make it easier. Yeah, the hi only the highlighted stuff is what you can read. Well, you can, you can read it all, but... Yeah, but I, I made the highlighted stuff. Give it that's from the United States Department of Justice Civil Rights. I bet you didn't know we had all the federal case law in our pocket in yeah, black and white on paper to hand it this officer to make you look like a clown. You didn't understand that, did you? Today is your education for fun and free, clown. Thank you, Ellie. I appreciate it. Uh, Ellie, if you could drop my uh, donation links in there, just so if anybody wants to donate, don't impede the door. It's button. automatically accessible. Uh, yeah. No, ma'am. Make sure I get that back. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go out there and get it. Um, yeah, I think I found the root of the problem. So they have a sign on the door that says no photographs, videos, and it has some CFRs. But we looked up all the CFRs and it's about publishing or videoing private information like their medical they documents and stuff. Yeah, and, and so like we looked up all the CFRs and it has nothing to do with photography. It just has to do with posting people's private info. Yeah, well, I understand that. And then you can understand where they're at too, okay? Oh, yeah, I mean, um, a lot but, of times they just have never dealt with I know, I know, but I... Yeah, I made a mistake saying this is private property, but you know this is this is a public public uh, building. The thing is, because if they ask and they don't want you on property, you know because they are in charge of the building here, they have the right to criminal trespass you guys. If, if we break in the law, and I'll tell you. But the thing is, but the thing is, you being inside is making the the, the employees feel uncomfortable. They're making me uncomfortable. That's their feelings. That's, That's not law. Yeah, unfortunately, um, we're. I'm not law enforcement. You're law enforcement. You enforce the law. Doesn't matter what their feelings are. But I don't they, know. Okay. They, they, yeah. they have to call the uncomfortable yeah. police. Do they do, I COVID, do they do COVID testing here? I'm no, no, no. They don't do more than you. I understand that. I understand. But if they told, if they tell you leave, then and you don't leave, then so you're gonna arrest us for trespassing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, from, they don't want to see what's going on. Okay, now in, in the United States, we're all taxpayers, right? And with public property, we, there's what's known as a liberty interest in public property, okay? The reason that is is because we all pay money for this property. And so when conducting a First Amendment activity on public property, unless we are breaking some other kind of law, then they have no I, right, to, the thing is, right to... It's but discrimination but they, at that point. They, they, they don't want you on property. It's right? because of I discrimination. Like I said, they're, they're, I, know we're not, I know you're not trying to get their information. Can you imagine that they're, the government... They're just, 
They just don't feel comfortable. So you're telling me the according to listen, the government mm -hmm. never feels comfortable when it's and when exposing corruption. Yeah. Hey, can you imagine just, what would yeah. happen? I just, I just, I just watching this, but imagine if, if black people who were uh, you know making feel uncomfortable and they didn't want them on the property. Remember that back in the sixties? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they making oh, people man. feel uncomfortable is not allowed. That's discrimination. Yeah. So. What are they doing? Are they, are they bothering a lot of the clients? They're not happy with the reporting. I understand that they can record making them feel uncomfortable. They can record the information on the walls, but if they're recording any of the client information, that's when we, that's when we have the yep. issue. That's what all the CFRs right here, the law, it states, we went through all of it, we just researched it. As long as we're not publishing at that window people's private information, we can take pictures and walk through here. And that's all we want to do. If you let us get our pictures undisturbed, we'll be out of here in the next five minutes. But it's all about, it's all just part of the education again, process. Officer, I'm sorry, but if you record anything with me or my kids, please. Could you explain to her plain view doctrine? No, 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 I'm just letting you know. It's plain view doctrine. Please, I'm sorry, I'm not talking about you. Please, you're making a disturbance, man. I'm, I'm going to stand outside and record her and her kid when they come out. Yeah? See, I'm causing a riot. Look at who's causing a riot. They're making me feel uncomfortable. I'm walking through here exercising my rights and they're insulting me. What about my feelings? Are you going to enforce my feelings? Yeah, even the people are asking her to be quiet. Look, the people are asking her to be quiet. She's disorderly, not me. Because you're making her feel uncomfortable. That's and her, well, you know, you're, you're law enforcement. People didn't want to be around black people back in the 60s, but uh, so they kicked them out of places. You're going to kick us out for exercising our rights? That's called it's discrimination. It's discrimination. Okay. Oh, is this, he's asking you to leave. He's, a, he's in charge of this property. He's asking you to leave. Okay. He's asking you to leave. Sir, are you asking us to leave? Or can we just get through here and take our pictures? Because you said it was okay for us you're to take You're allowed to take anything without okay, client information. Okay, so you hear what he said. We're going to walk through here. I'm not going to I'm not gonna post any client information. So could you please de-escalate the people in here? Let me get my pictures on the server. I can't do nothing. With them. Okay, well, he just admitted that it's okay for, like, for everybody in here. The guy that's running this building just said it's okay for us to take pictures. I hope y'all calm down for a minute. Let us get our pictures on the server so we can get out here. Again. Not okay, so I'm just gonna get my pictures from now on. Thank you for telling me I can do so. I'm gonna try to get my video and sh undisturbed, and I'm out of here. Okay, thank you, sir. Victory lap is what I call this. I'm sorry. It will be up tomorrow. All right, guys, we got to the bottom of it. They almost made a mistake, but it seems we got it taken care of, so move on to the next. Some educations are harder to learn than others, so I appreciate y'all enjoying this video. Mr. Smith, I'm going to find out who you are. File a complaint to your uh, supervisor. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Thank you, sir. Yes. No problem, man. So what did they say? So you guys I told them, well, he said he's going to trespass me. Then the uh, dude in charge of the property said, no, y'all can take pictures. So now the dude in charge of the property started backpedaling, saying, no, well, y'all can take pictures as long as you don't publish people's private information. I said, yeah, we're not here for that. Then the officer's like, we're going to trespass you. We're going to trespass you. We're going to remove you from this building. We're going to arrest you. And I was like, the guy just said we could take pictures. What's going on with the miscommunication? I was like, sir, so you, don't, you know that I could take pictures. I'm going to do my last lap undisturbed, and then I'll be out of here. And he was like, no problem. So I did my last little victory lap, and I'm out of there. Okay. Um, you know, um, the officer... Uh, the officer still doesn't get it. He still doesn't get it, but the, it seems the public employee did yeah. what was right in the end. He almost made a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Boss, did you get the supervisor on the way? Did you want to speak to him? Uh, yeah, if I could. I, I, want I, I, I want to make sure that the law is correctly understood here today. Yeah, yeah we want to know your name, too. Did you look at the video? And what, and what was your name, brother? Uh, Gilbert? Hi. Sorry, sorry for the, the crazy shit, man, but we got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like going to the dentist. It's not always comfortable, but it's worth it. Yep. Gilbert. Hey, okay, this is Smith uh, Protective Services. Correct. And this was Captain who? Um, I was trying to find the name of a security officer that I had an interaction with. I'm sorry, hold on one second. There's a lot of noise in the background. Give me one minute. 
I'm trying to get a hold of a name of a security officer uh, that I had an encounter with that uh, was making threatening statements while he was on duty. Okay, what location was it at? It was in San Antonio at the, let me pull it up for you real quick. Uh, sorry, let me pull that up for you real quick. Okay. It's at the Texas Health and Human Services at 905. Uh, you ready for the address? It's uh, P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T-O-N Road, San Antonio, Texas, 78214. Okay, well, well, what, day, what, what day was this, sir? Um, let me go ahead and pull that up for you. This is on Okay, I have it right here. This is on August 8th at 11 a.m. He was um, in his Smith security officer uniform. He was working at the Health and Human Services. Um, myself, along with a couple of friends, are independent journalists, and we were doing some documentation on the Health and Human Services building a story. And he took it upon himself to walk up and threaten physical harm to one of my photographers. Did you witness this yourself, sir? I have it on video and I'm about to be publishing it on my YouTube today. That's why I'm calling you prior to me publishing this because um, the Smith uh, security services are going to receive a lot of complaints pertaining to this situation. And I think that the security officer is a threat to uh, members of the public and he's mentally unstable, obviously, to walk up would, to a... Would you, would, you, would you hold on just a moment, sir? Yeah, I'd like to speak hey, with a supervisor. Name, my name is James. What? My name is James. James. James, did I hear you correctly? Yeah, James. Okay, hold on. Hold on, please. Yeah. So, so your name is James. Do you, do you have a callback number so I can do a follow-up here? Well, no, I'm trying to just get this. Can, get can I get this? To our regional manager. Can I get the security guard's name so I can file a formal complaint? I, I don't know who's. I don't know who was on duty, sir. I have to find out. And that information I cannot disclose to you, as you understand. Um, right. Well, I'm trying to file a complaint. One of our employees. Well, he's he's working. If you're filing a complaint. I, I I'm taking your complaint. That way we can we have to deal with that in house. And I'm trying to be. So and, and, I, and I don't want to argue with you. I mean, I understand this is a little bit of a frustrating situation. But he works for a public facility, which means that your company is receiving public tax dollars, and so I have the right to know his name, especially because he's working for the public. No, sir. We're, we're still a private company. Working in a public facility. Regardless, regardless, of, we're, regardless of we're, if we're working for a private uh, for a public entity, we're still a private company. I have the right to find uh, out his so name. Now I cannot give that information to you. So okay, could you, you just? Like, I'll, I'll give you my phone number. And I will get that, and I will get back with you. When when can I receive a, a phone call back, or can I just get an email? Let me give you. Um, or can I just be transferred? I'm trying to get, get to your, the bottom uh, of this uh, now. Is there a contact number I can get back with you on? Yeah, the number I just called you from. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this now. I don't want it to take a week. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Y'all are me, within working hours. It's three thirty in the afternoon, and I'm just trying to make sure I get this taken care of during business hours. Okay. Well, I, we have to address the issue with the officer, and, that, and address the issue with anybody else who witnesses. Besides, you've well, already said you were going to publish this anyway, so. Yeah, but I need the I officer's. Understand. I need the security officer's name so I can file a formal complaint with his supervisor. He didn't have a name badge well, on, already, isn't it? Is it not part of y'all's policy? And, that with, you're already addressing that with the with the district with the with, with the regional office right now. What I'm saying though is, so I'm uh, is it part? Of, I'm going to give it to the. I'm going to give it to the regional manager so he can it, and get back with you on that. Is it part of y'all's policy to have a name badge? I'm guessing it probably is, right? Because you can't walk around with a gun representing a company without a name badge on. And the fact that this officer's uniform was not complete, he had no name badge on that I'm having to call. He was already outside of policy and procedure. This is a disgusting... So, 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 so sir, are you, are, you saying, are you saying that the officer was armed? Yeah, he had a pistol on his side. I'm afraid not, because the, officer the officers out there are not armed officers. Well, I have a video of this guy wearing your uniform with a gun. 
Okay. Well, so are you telling me that he's impersonating? Is he impersonating? Is he impersonating an officer? Working at the Health and Human Resources, impersonating an officer? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know, sir. That's all, folks.